With this AI app generator, you can create your very own app with no coding experience. All you need to do is select the type of app you want to generate, enter in your prompt and boom, your app is being generated. The tool that I'm talking about and that I'm going to show in this video is called Software.io. Software is a no-code app building platform with a mission to empower everyone to create software through the help of their templates and 70 plus building blocks. Back in December 2022, they were one of the first no-code platforms to introduce OpenAI features and today they are able to introduce this game-changing feature, the Software AI App Generator. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial and create your very own web app, make sure to click the link in the description down below and let's get started. So once you've clicked on the link in the description, this is the page that you will see. In this page, you can create your very own app with the help of a prompt. You have a few options of the app types that you can generate. First of all, you have a client portal. A client portal can be something that your clients can enter and that they can see like custom information on there. For example, they have a, an example here that's called like a portal for property owners and maintenance team to manage property related tasks and information. Then we have an internal tool. An internal tool is something that is for you and your team or anyone within your business. Um, this way you can quickly communicate about like tasks or about certain marketing projects or you can put your um, marketing brand assets in there. And then next up we have a directory. In the directory you can store like any information regarding like events or regarding any names or any organizations. You can put all the information in there and then anyone within that directory can access this. And lastly we have a membership platform and this speaks for itself like basically a platform where people pay for it to have access to it and within that platform you can share like valuable information. So for this tutorial I want to create an internal tool for my marketing team and this internal tool uh, is to easily connect and collaborate and identify uh, influencers within my database. So let me write a prompt for this. Okay, so this is my prompt. Now all we have to do is click on preview your app. Now it takes one more step to generate our app. Um, as you can see, it has given it the app name ConnectWise and it has written a prompt right here. Now we can write another prompt if we don't like the way it looks. It has given us a brief overview of what it might look like. Um, so if you don't like it, then you can try it with another prompt or you can click on generate the app. You can also select the theme. For this, I'm going to go with modern. And for the color, I like this type of blue. So now our app is ready to get generated. Okay, so take a look at this. This is the landing platform of our web app. Um, right off the bat, uh, it, this is pretty simple, but it is actually advanced once you get started with this. So yeah, you can also view it on your tablet and also on your mobile. I will also show what it looks like on the inside on both tablet and on mobile. So yeah, let's get started with it. Now we've arrived at the page where your team members can log in to the internal tool. Um, so I'm just gonna log in as a individual contributor. So now we have arrived in our database. And as you can see, these are the influences that it has generated. Um, obviously you have to change all of this information and you have to enter in like your own like data spreadsheet uh, to give this information. But this looks pretty cool if you ask me. You see like their name, the social media platform that they're working on and the amount of followers that they have. If we were to click on one person, then we can also see the category, the contact email and the engagement rate. So within the platform, it has generated all of this itself. All you have to do if you want to customize your app is you have to enter in your data sheet and then you have your own platform. So besides the influencer page, you also have a collaborations page. It also has generated this for us. So we didn't have to do anything to create this. Uh, Software AI has done all of this for us. So we can see like we have collaborations going on with this, with this influencer and with these other influencers as well. And yeah, this is pretty cool if you ask me. You can also see the details of the collaboration and you can also see the payment amount. So if you were to use this for your internal team, like for example, I might use this uh, for my marketing agency where I work together with other influencers, then I have a quick overview with this web app, where we are, uh, what collaboration we got going on, what campaigns, which influence we have. So all of this can be generated from just a data sheet. Uh, more on that, I will show you a bit later in this video, but first let's head over to the campaign section. 
So here we can see the campaigns that are currently going on. Um, obviously this is also AI generated, so you want to change the information, but just by the looks of it, you get an idea what it is about and how you can use this on your own. Uh, if you click on it again, you get some more information. So within 30 seconds, you can create a whole new web app based on your prompt. And then after that, you can customize it with your data sheet. If you want to customize the app, then you can click on customize app. And now it brings you over to software studio and in software studio, you can customize anything that you want within this web app. But as you can see, the whole foundation of our web app has already been made. We have all of these pages in there. Uh, we didn't have to do anything for it. It already created like the blocks, the template and the color. And if you want to customize anything, you can do it in here. For example, if you want to customize the font size, you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. So let's try it out, save it. And now it is a little bit bigger. You can also change the heading font, for example, to Montserrat. It's a pretty popular font that anyone uses. And now we have made it more custom to our liking. You can also change the color. You can change the body. You can change the color of the body as well. But yeah, let's keep it like this and let me show you some other features that it has. So within Software Studio, you can also add some new blocks. Um, you can add like their suggested blocks or you can add anything that you'd like in here. It is already pre-made, so you don't have to code any of that. Uh, you can just drag and drop it in there, customize it a little bit, and then your app has been updated. So if you want to import your data, you have to go to users and then you click on sync with a data source. And now you can select a existing data source. So right now they only have Google Sheet available to import your data from, but soon they will also have Airtable. So within either one of Google Sheet or Airtable, you can import your data. And once you have connected it, it can store your data in those sheets. Within the settings, you can also change like your subdomain, you can change your icon. You can also add in your own custom domain. You can connect it to data sources. You can use some integrations and it also has a mobile app. So let me show you what our website looks right now on both mobile and on tablet. So on PC, it looks like this. On tablet, it looks like this. And then on phone, it looks like this. So as someone with no experience in the coding field at all, let me tell you this. It was really easy to create a web app through software AI. And it just took me like one minute to generate my website, come up with the prompt, uh, select the tool that I want to create. And then after that, it took like a minute to create this. And now I can customize my web app. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks like. In the future, this will be even more advanced. There will be more features coming out. So if you need a web app for your business, then I would highly consider using software AI because it will save you so much time when it comes to building the whole structure for your web app. If you want to try out Software AI for yourself, then check the link in the description down below and I will see you in the next video.